What if you could turn the stock market into your own money printing machine? In this video, I show you how we have done that and how you can do it too. Here you see every option trade we did last month in April. The red box of the trades we're going to talk about in detail because I think they'll give you some ideas on how you too can turn your stock account into a money printing machine. I encourage you to watch until the very end because that's where I'll show you exactly how much cash flow we put into our pocket from selling options as well as the return we received on our capital and on the margin requirement. What's interesting is that even though the S&P 500 was down 9% in April, it was actually our third best cash flow month over the past 24 months. The first trade I want to share with you really gets your mind going about how you can use options to generate massive cash flow. This trade was actually in a company that you probably know well and use every day. That company is Microsoft. Here you see our current position in Microsoft. At the red arrow up top, notice that we own the January 19th, 2024 250 leap call option. We turned this into a poor man's covered call back when we first entered this position in August of last year, about eight and a half months ago. Notice in the blue box here, that on August 27th, we bought the 2023 Leaps call option and simultaneously sold the third Friday of October 315 call option. For that, as you can see at the far right in the blue box, we are paid $2.41 per share. Ever since then, we've been rolling this short call option of this poor man's covered call out each month. Here's the live alert I sent out to my patrons on April 12th when we did this trade. At the blue arrow, you see that we sold the May 20th 280 call option for $14.05 per share. But you know, I like to be creative and generate as much cash as possible. So in addition to the poor man's covered call, as you can see at the orange arrow, we've also been selling a near-term cash secured put option. The one we sold in April was the May 20th $280 put option. As you can see at the orange arrow, we are paid $10.96 per share for that put option. Now we weren't able to pocket that entire $25.01 because as you can see in the red box, we had to buy back the April call and put options to close them out. At the top, you see that it cost us $13.66 per share to buy back the call option. And just below that, you see that it cost us $0.35 cents per share to buy back the April cash secured put. So when you do the math, as you can see in the blue rectangle up top, we end up walking away with $11 per share or right at $1,100 minus commission for this position. In my opinion, that's awesome money. If we go back to my Excel spreadsheet, notice that at the bottom right corner of this spreadsheet, there were only out of pocket $30.65 for our poor man's covered call position. If you do the math by taking the $30.65 plus the 280 strike price for the cash secure put option, that equals $310.65. If you take that $11 we received last month and annualize it for the 38 days that we were at most in this position, it equates to a 34% non-leveraged annualized return on capital. The reason why I wanted to share this position and trade with you is that because we actually combined two different strategies here. That's one of the cool things we can do as an option trader. We're not just limited to buying and selling stocks. We have all these techniques at our disposal that are pretty awesome all by themselves. But when you combine them together, they can produce phenomenal returns and cash flow as you have seen here. Even though initially our June of 23, 235 leaps call option cost us $81.21, our cost base in that position is down to $30.65 as you can see at the bottom right corner. The reason that we've been able to get it down so fast is because we've been selling call options against that leaps option that we own. We've also been selling that cash secure put option in Microsoft. But what's even more impressive is what's happened to Microsoft stock since we entered this position. Here you see the daily chart of Microsoft. At the purple line, that's when we first started trading this position back on August 27th. If you follow the blue line over, you see that when we started trading this position, Microsoft was trading right at $300 per share. Since that time, Microsoft has been on quite the roller coaster. You see that it went as high as $350 per share, and over the past several months, it's gotten as low as $270 per share. In fact, right now, it's trading right at $274 per share, or $26 less than what it was trading for when we started this position. So we are way up on our position, even though Microsoft is actually down by 8.7%. That's pretty cool. As options traders, if we structure these positions properly and trade in solid companies, we generate cash flow no matter whether the market is going up, down, or even going sideways. If you'd like to learn more about poor man's covered calls and how they work and how we use them to generate awesome cash flow in return, I'll share a video playlist dedicated to them at the end of this video. By the way, if that was really useful, what I just share with you, I'd love it if you just give this video a like. Just bump the like button. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button and bell notification. To introduce this next trade, I have a really bad joke for you about the trade. The joke goes, my mom used to feed me alphabet soup when I was a kid. She insisted on me telling everyone that I loved it. I didn't really. She was putting words in my mouth. I know that was a really terrible joke. 
And I'm not going to put words in your mouth, but what I am going to do is show you how you can use options and awesome companies like Campbell's Soup to put money into your pocket every single month. Here you see the trailer I sent out to my patrons as soon as we entered this trade. As you can see, on April 6th, we sold to open the Campbell's Soup May 20th $44 cash secure put option. For that, we were paid $1.10 per share. The reason why I wanted to show this trade to you is I want to talk you through why we did this trade. Right now, there's a lot of talk about inflation, recessions, wars. The world is basically in a mess right now. But there are three things that we as humans need. We need food, clothing, and shelter. Campbell's Soup provides the food. I like trading in companies that provide products and services that we need in any kind of economic environment. But what I really like to do is trade in those companies when the odds appear to be in our favor. Here you see the daily and weekly chart of Campbell's Soup on the day that we enter this trade. On the left chart, you see that the date is April 6th. Campbell's Soup had recently bottomed out around 41.5 per share and then pushed above both the green 50 and red 200 moving averages. Looking over the weekly chart, I noticed that over the past several months, there had been a lot of buying pressure in Campbell's Soup. In fact, only one week of the past several months was a red down week. Now Campbell's Soup was trying to push through the red 200 moving average. It had already pushed through the green 50 moving average on this weekly chart and it had done that on decent volume. Notice that the candlesticks were marching higher each week. They were making higher lows and higher highs. Because of that, I believe that if Campbell's Soup did pull back, it most likely find support at this green 50 moving average on the weekly chart, which also corresponded to both the green 50 and red 200 moving average on the daily chart. That meant that there would be three moving averages that could potentially serve as support for it, and they were all located in the same area. That made me feel very comfortable selling this cash secure put option in Campbell's Soup. Now fast forward to today, and as you can see, Campbell Soup has continued its upward momentum to the point where we could actually close this position out early if we wanted to for around 15 cents per share. That would actually lock in a really nice return of over 26% annualized non-leveraged. And this is a position in a company that sells soup. How great is that? Making trades in multiple time frames line up to put the odds in your favor of winning is a great way to consistently win in your stock and option trades. Now let me show you exactly how much net cash we pocketed last month by selling puts, covered calls, collecting dividends, and doing poor man's covered calls. At the bottom of the sheet in the blue box, see that as a result of selling options, we put $21,181 cash into our pocket. However, I want to mention to you that we had some cash secured put options that were assigned to us in Disney. We immediately liquidated them and turned the position back into cash secured put options. However, in that position, we had a loss of $2,338.50. So when you back that out, we put a net of $18,842.50 into our pocket from selling options and trading in stocks. In the orange box, you see that trading commission cost us $91.43. On the left in the purple box, you see that the market data cost us $30.75. At the bottom right in the green box, so we collected over $391 in dividends from the four covered call positions that we were in, as well as one outright stock ownership position. In all, we put a net of $19,109 cash into our pocket. If you annualize that return on the just over $1 million in capital that we had at risk, it equates to right at a 21.1% annualized non-leveraged return on capital. If you're curious about what the return on the $108,063 margin requirement was, if you don't add in the margin for the short calls we've been selling in the S&P 500, it equates to a 215% annualized return on margin. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we do trades like the ones I showed in this video, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you really want to take your stock and option trading to the next level, it's vital that you know how to use different option trading techniques. In the video series at the link above, I talk you through how we use leaps and poor man's covered call options to generate awesome cash flow and return. Those are some of my favorite option trading tools that I use, especially in low or non-dividend paying stocks. So if you want to brush up on your option trading skills or learn a new one, please check out that video series. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.